Hello Aquarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of August of 2021 spiritual guidance reading. In this case today I am going to ask Spirit to bless us with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding whichever Aquarius I am reading for during this general reading. What energies uh, will they be experiencing during the first half of August in the area of career, finance, money, or creativity? Okay, so before I get started with the circle spread, I'm going to quick move the camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so that you can see the cards in front of me as I lay them out before me during your reading in just one moment. All right, Aquarius, here we are. Again, this is the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue, um, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. Each position of the circle spread uh, will be, representing, be represented by one of these cards from the deck. Therefore, I can uh, kind of cover different bases, uh, different dates uh, that will be important during the first half of August of 2021 for whichever Aquarius I'm reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter. What will the energies be surrounding this particular Aquarius during the first half of August of 2021? Creative expression. This has been a very uh, common card for the other signs in the first half of August of 2021 readings. Now the card says, the universe is divine creativity is expressed through your actions. So I feel like there is an Aquarius who's been uh, expressing them creatively prior to the beginning of August of 2021, or this is spirit nudging uh, this Aquarius at the beginning of August of 2021 to take some action to express your creativity. So have you been, and if not, what is it you want to create? What is it you've always wanted to learn about or do? Uh, for now is the time to manifest something that really connects to the inner child deep within you. What is it you like to do as a child? What is it that you would like to learn or teach, right? What is it you were sent to this earth to be remembered for at this time in your life path journey? Now, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we do have the Mother Mary energy here. Um, the Blessed Mother Mary is helping you with your divine life purpose. Uh, maybe you're thinking of a mother figure in some way. And you're uh, hopefully praying to spirit uh, to help you to express uh, your emotions through your creativity. So this could be writing, keeping a journal, wanting to write a story, create a children's book, uh, present something that you'd like to discuss uh, representing uh I just heard children. I see two children here kind of dancing. All right, they want me to keep going. So in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have blocks being lifted. This has been showing up for a lot of other signs. I cannot remember what other sign had it, but they had it in the same position. The relationship sector is where there are blocks of fear here. And spirit is helping this Aquarius to, in connection to another or others, free themselves from some form of fear to recognize that as they create it create something via their feelings their emotions as you express something here in your heart uh, maybe to a mother figure or regarding a creative project this process is going to help lift blocks between you and others so I do feel like this is an Aquarius that's definitely boxed themselves in and spirit stepping in to help you to take action, to express yourself creatively so that you can free your mind from uh, whatever's holding you back. In this case, they're saying obstacles of fear in the relationship sector are preventing you from taking action. Maybe you're thinking about how a mother figure would react here in the first half of August if you took action to create uh, maybe a new direction for yourself. Now, in the creative aspects position, we do have the helping children card. Uh, I think spirit is definitely nudging this Aquarius uh, to uh, recognize that your life purpose is tied to helping children in some way, teaching children, guiding children, 
helping young people, okay? Um, how can you take all that you've learned, uh, face your fears, and uh, help connect with children in some way? So that's what this particular Aquarius is being guided to do uh, in the first half of August of 2021. Yeah, so in the actions position, as you take action to identify that your purpose is to help children in some way, Aquarius, you're going to come to the realization by mid-August of 2021 that these ideas that Spirit is bringing you, is guiding you with, are heaven sent. That something heaven sent has answered your prayer. As you create a way to help others, so too are you healing is what I'm hearing in the actions position. So in the emotional aspects position, we have birth. This has been showing up for a lot of uh, other astrological signs as well for the first half of August of 2021. This is energies of excitement, new life, uh, new ideas, happy news or an exciting project is blossoming within you. Therefore, therefore is blossoming into the lives of others. So as you again give birth to something new, uh, maybe it's a motherly energy to help children. Maybe you and a mother energy can go and express yourself to uh, lift some form of fearful obstacles. I'm feeling a little bit of personal stuff going on here. That's why I'm kind of slowing down. So in the uh, subconscious position, we have sensitivity. Okay, the card says that your sensitive feelings are your muse and your inspiration for your creativity, just like we've been talking about. Now is the time to express those deep feelings, um, maybe in a journal, uh, through some form of action. For your sensitive feelings are your muse, right? That are That's going to bring some form of inspiration, again, to those around you and uh, to helping children uh, in some way. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have stay true to yourself, Aquarius. Very important message for the first half of August of 2021 for whichever Aquarius I'm reading for. The card says don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, trust, and follow your inner voice. Maybe you're thinking about what a mother figure would want for you to give birth to, but this is about you trusting your inner guidance, not anyone or anything around you. Don't let anybody water down your ideas, especially if you're going to teach, guide, or help young people, because this is what Spirit is saying is what your uh, purpose is at this time. So in the inner strengths position, look at that. Spirit is giving <laughs> Aquarius the strength of a new project, right? Like a newborn baby, your actions are growing your ideas into reality. And Spirit wants you to acknowledge that. The more you express yourself through your actions, in some cases helping teaching children or just others in some way, you're going to realize by mid-August that what you have given birth to has been an, a heaven-sent answer to your prayers. So what is this new project going to be where you can express via creativity? Because you're being divinely guided Spirit's trying to bring you new ideas if you haven't identified them uh, by August of 2021. All right, so in a three-card summary to my left with the same Archangel Gabriel deck, we've got media representing connecting with others via community, society, social media, technology, video, audio, print, online media, and so on. For some of you, if you've been wanting to write something or you start a journal and it turns into a small uh, romance novel or something, um, Spirit is saying your writing or other creative projects, Aquarius, will benefit from outside help and support. So there could be some mother energy here that you're thinking about that could help assist you in giving birth to an exciting idea, a new project in your life. Okay, so we have Editor Gratitude. Uh, asking for guidance from others, maybe a publisher, uh, maybe an editor who looks at something that you're about to present, create, or write here. That's going to heal you is what I keep hearing. So by mid-August of 2021, we have vulnerability. 
big word for this Aquarius in the first half of August. Spirit saying, ask for what you want. Listen to your vulnerable feelings, for they are what contain your wisdom and your inspiration. And then pray to Spirit for the strength to focus on your priorities, no matter what. Stay true to yourself and what you're creating, for as you continue to help teach, guide young people in some way, um, the more positive, the more action steps you take, of course, the more quickly things are going to transpire. So ask Spirit for signs and synchronicities and Spirit saying at some point you're going to find uh, that something uh, one was heaven sent an answer to your prayers uh, via prosperity. But there's like now you're having to kind of manage your time, right? Uh, your actions will have resulted in an incoming abundance. And then you start to recognize emotionally this is what I want to do. So as you share your art yourself with the world, the law of attraction is going to guide others to you. So teaching children is going to be a healing uh, process that spirit is trying to guide you to experience in the first half of August of 2021. Fascinating messages for this Aquarius. Spirit has totally got your back. I don't know if I said, but subconsciously you've got sensitivity. So remember um, to follow your subconscious. Conscious. <laughs> okay. Because spirit's trying to guide you. And you got to lift blocks of fear in order to move forward. Maybe you're afraid to connect with other children because of a situation. I don't know. All right. So I want to just clarify with the daily guidance from your angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Closing message and confirmation or messages and confirmation oh yeah look at that's exactly what i was talking about so spirit is saying remember now and in your thoughts during the first half of august of 2021 aquarius that you've got the life purpose card it says the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others can i get an amen so um, yeah, eventually we do have a birth. Okay, this is kind of where the personal situation comes in. A new life, maybe a new baby, uh, happy news, uh, exciting projects, things blossoming in the life around you. Maybe someone here is recognizing their life's purpose. Uh, they're working it, they're loving it, they're staying true to themselves, they're enjoying uh, this journey. And then boom, we have uh, giving birth to a connection to a person, uh, moving in together, dating, and or a pregnancy. So the change in direction card says the changes that you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and guidance. And that's ending up over here. So they've got the card saying what? Divine guidance, divinely directed. A change in direction. Eventually, you may find there's greater fulfillment in a new direction altogether, though I don't think you're going to like take any action as far as major change or that you should, right? So the Spirit's saying, enjoy this process and have confidence, right? Stay true to yourself and what you are creating. Continue to create and express yourself to others that you can help for your ideas are being heaven sent, maybe from someone Who's in heaven? Look at that. We got a little child with angel wings. Oops. So, Spirit's saying all you have to do when it comes to a new project, idea, plan is ask Spirit, right? The angels are always waiting for you to ask them to assist you in the manifestation of a new direction where you can express yourself in a creative way. Recognizing the answer to your prayers lies in a new direction for some of you. So, the card says ask us your spirit guides your angels those who've passed before you to help you in this situation for we will immediately go to work on your behalf stay true to yourself have confidence and understand that a change in direction is indeed tied to your life purpose do not worry about finding your purpose instead focus upon serving a purpose and then your service Will, your, your purpose will serve you because you're being divinely guided. 
Okay, so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by, for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who follow up those readings with an email explaining exactly how these messages help to guide you to a higher path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to keep my channel up and running. Take care and God bless.